Okay, this is Jean Renault Miranda in the color 32F. I'm gonna start off by saying, I don't like the way he puts in those highlight stripes like that. So I'm gonna show you how I fix that with a Copic marker. This one is number E49. I don't know if that's going to uh, um, focus or not. Anyway, this is how I fix them. I go in and I just lightly Now usually I will put a baggie on the styrofoam head underneath and then I do the bottom side too. Usually I do a baggie on the styrofoam head so it doesn't get all marked up. But I'm not touching the lace part. I'm not touching the styrofoam head now that I've learned to be a little bit more careful. So you can see how just that change that one piece and while we're here let's go ahead and do this one so if you had too many highlights and you wanted to add a few low lights in this is what I do and I seem to use this color Copic E49 seems to be one that I use a lot for rooting. Anyway, see what a see what a difference that made? Alright, let's get to the and I added some root markers as well. So now I think This is my Jean Renault Miranda in the color 32F. I love this color. However, some of these lighter strands just look a little too brassy to me. And so when we were talking the other day, we were talking about doing darker browns in the reds. So. Let's practice. This color is one of my favorites. It is by Master's Touch, I don't, if that won't. And it's number 98, Chestnut Brown. Let me see. So I'm gonna go ahead, because it's on a darker color, I'm gonna go ahead and use the thick end. And if I were gonna go all the way down the strand, I'll just pick it up. Start coloring. See, and you can see how that took that from brassy. And then you could leave the ends. Okay, let's try to do this piece right here. So as long as we're here, let's see if we can make one wine color. This one is also by Master's Touch. It's called Number One Wine Red. Since I'm not sure about this color, I'm going to use this one on the narrow end. And we can also pick one that's more underneath. Ooh, I think I like it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like that a lot. All right, let's do the thick end. And pick us a thicker one. Like that one. Roberta, are you the one that got me started on this? And I could leave those ends lighter if I wanted to. I could go in here and pick this one. I didn't put plastic on my styrofoam head, but 
in the past when I've done dark roots on a styrofoam head, I would say put a plastic baggie so you don't stain your styrofoam. I like that. All right, as long as we're here, let's try this other color. This one is number 91 called Natural Oak. We're gonna start with the skinny end and we're gonna pick one from underneath. Since I don't know what it looks like, I hope you can all see this. It gives it more of a cowboy copper. Everybody wants the cowboy copper. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Let's do another one. you don't go all the way down to the ends and then you have to come back and do them later then you have to figure out which color you did I like that so maybe rather than just going all dark brown you could try some of your reds and then if you didn't like the reds then you could cover it up with a dark brown And I have noticed that when I've washed other pieces, the water um, appears to be like it's fading out, but it doesn't necessarily look like it completely fades. So I don't know how you would ever get it completely out. I would say you're in it for the long haul. That is a pretty color. I am going to have to go get some more of those. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that better than those brassy gold ones there. Okay, let's put it on the Let's put it on the thick end and really go for it. Can you see that piece? I'm trying not to block the light here. I love it. All right, let's put a wine win in between those two. Back to this wine red. Let's put that in, in the middle of the copper ones. I personally don't like to wear something too with too much violet, too much purple in it. But that one looks like that's going to be just fine. And it looks like she's only highlighted from, you know, there up. So it's not like I have to completely do the whole wig. Yeah, I just don't like the way this brassy gold looks when the sun hits it. I wash all my girls in cool water anyway, so I would make sure you're washing her in cool water. And of course, always using wig shampoos. I like Aesthetica. All right, you know, I have a um, Noriko Chestnut girl that I 
need to do this on. I love my chestnut on Robin, but I don't care for it on. Now, when you're close to that lace top, be really careful. Of course, I always like to go in there with a darker root when I'm right next to the lace because I want it to look like this is my dark, what's it called? Chestnut brown. Um, because I don't want it to look like you got that highlights growing right out of the scalp. Sometimes that can make it look like it's got bald spots. So see how I take that dark root Those need to be done from underneath. That's why they're not covering well. I need to grab my comb. Give me an idea. And then if those copper ones were too copper, or you could just bring a few of this, this is still the dark brown, what's it called? Chestnut brown. Bringing that chestnut brown all the way down. Make sure you keep your lids on tight. Those are not cheap. And I had already done some of the rooting. Well, it doesn't look like I did that one. Let me show you that. Let me see. Maybe I didn't do it on this girl. See how she looks like she has a tiny little bald spot there? So I just go in and go, I can't hold this. Can you see that angle? I'm just going to go really close, really close without touching the lace. So I'm almost kind of using the side of that marker because I'm afraid if I use the tip, I'll just go make dark knots. Now you can see how like when she was born at the manufacturer, they already have they have dark colors, light colors, dark cl colors. That's why when you look at the inside of the cap, she looks like she's got a checkerboard pattern. And I just don't like her to look all checkerboard. Let's see if we can turn her around here. See, she's got a She's got a thin spot right there. Not a thin spot. Whoa, whoa. But uh, I'm going the wrong way. But a blonde piece right there in the front. So I like to take that blonde piece. Get really close without touching the lace. Kind of fill that in. Okay. Love you. Here I am with my handy little, I think it's called a lazy neck tripod. It's supposed to hold your phone so you can be hands free. Anyway, we're going to test these three Copic. They're all Copic markers. Um, if I was going to make that white stripe across the front less white, I would start by practicing here and this is the nape. I've got this on a tripod where she's bent at almost a 90 degree angle. So we're going to practice here in the back and since I'm practicing in the back, I'm going to use the wide end Okay, see that one's not bad. I'm gonna do enough that I could see it, but 
when I go to do it in the bang area, I will use the narrow end and not make it quite as thick as we just did. Let's try a different color. This one is lighter. Again, I'm going to use the thick end so we can see what we're doing. I think I like that one better-ish because it's not quite so brassy. Of course, it's got a little, what would you call that, a little auburn to it. And it's called sand. So you wouldn't think it would look that auburn. Oh, this one's probably too dark. But... If I wanted some of those darker strands to kind of match the rooting. See, I'm just using the um, tiny end. I like that. I've already done some on her front, but let's, let's flip her over. <laughs> we'll flip this all over here in a minute. And I put, I have this tape underneath it so I can see what I'm doing so that it all doesn't look too light. And right here is where I've done some color. Let's do this one. This is the light walnut. Whoop! Wrong end. I don't want to do that end. That's enough. I'm out, and I've already done some. I'm out in the wind anyway, it's not gonna show. But just for giggles, let's see if we, this is one of my favorite dark colors. This Chestnut Brown by um, Master's Touch. Let's do the skinny end. This tends to match the roots on most all of the girls I do. I'm just coming over that one that looked a little brassy. See, that matches. Roots nicer. Yeah, I like that one. This tends to be my go-to. Master's Touch, I get it at Hobby Lobby and this is the color 98. 98 chestnut brown. I haven't found a good taupe color yet or a good beige color. They tend to get more in the gray category. 